believe it or not, with so little snow on the ground, I made it to the cottage. You might have seen my episode where I tried to go to the cottage and fail. Well, no more than two weekends ago, I tried again. First of all, my journey starts quite nicely. It's 10 degrees warmer than last time. And the trails are even nicer than in January. Once again, I go to the Pourvoirie du Lac du Repos, but this time to meet my brother-in-law and his skidoo buddy. After filling our gas tanks, and yes, the only gas station is pretty busy this Saturday. Off we go to the cottage. On the way, I show them the scenery, <laughs> not just the trees and snow. And my brother-in-law absolutely wants to have his picture taken beside the moose crossing sign. Finally, we managed to arrive at the cottage. This was easier than anticipated. When I look at the lake in winter, it's quite different than the view I'm used to during the summer. But inside the cottage, it's quite cold. But it's not the end of the world. We just have to go outside and shovel the roof. This keeps us warm. So if I invite you to my cottage, be prepared to work for your bed. It's what I did with my brothers in law friends, Rosien. After two days of snowmobiling, it was time to part ways. We filled up our snowmobile for the last time and we took different trails to get home. But when I stop to eat, I'm surrounded by Canada Jays. And they want my sandwich. I'm not kidding when I say they want it. But even if I had to chase it away, they still came back for more. In those three days, I made a nice snowmobile ride and I'm very happy. Not only being able to sleep inside the cottage, but mostly because I managed to get my chimney cleared. Now I'm sure I'll have a chimney when I come back in May. And as a nice bonus, I was able to feed some birds. But don't worry, I'll be back next Friday with part two of our bathroom towel cabinet on the woodpecker. Three.